tonight. From TIAA Bankfield in Jacksonville, Florida, it's a special prize. We'll see Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. Smack dab in the middle of I-295 that encircles the city of Jacksonville in Northeast Florida. There's a good look at TIAA Bank Field. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Baltimore Ravens and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Cook set to start the proceedings and we are underway here in Jacksonville. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. Early part of his career, defense has really had to focus on his running ability and they still do. Now, he's turned himself into a true... And they'll begin by running the option. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And that is incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now Lawrence. And the pressure gets to Lawrence, and he'll go down. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. And the pass is intercepted. He was looking for Ingram. Tyus Bowser with the pick. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. They did get a little gain on this play, but all in all, a nice job defensively against the touch pass. They were able to string it out towards the sideline and never let him get the corner and turn it upfield for a bigger chunk of yardage. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Here we go now on first and goal. Dobbins will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of a season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks, 
is pretty impressive. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Here's Lawrence to throw. Incomplete. Chuck Clark, the one in coverage, and he breaks up the pass. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. On third and short, going with their tight end. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. He'll look to throw. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. I think you have to chalk that one up for the defense there. Someone right on the spot. Excellent coverage. Didn't leave him enough room to come down inbounds, even though he did catch the football. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Straight ahead, ETN. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. So that's what that elbow in my ribs was all about. You thought they were going to throw the ball as well. Absolutely. I think everybody thought they were throwing the football. Caught him off guard. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you have the courage to make that type of a play call, a lot of times you actually get rewarded. He'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. On second down, a run with ETN. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. And he's just short. He got six of the seven he needed, so that leaves a decision here on fourth and a yard. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth so this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth here's first and ten meanwhile Lawrence's throw here taken in by Ingram and he's going to be down at the 35 gain of seven clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter ETN up the middle and brought down but not before they're inside the 25 45 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. They go play action now. Lawrence. This is caught. It's Kirk. And he'll be out of bounds. A well-executed 22-yard gain. 
Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. ETN is in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Doug Peterson says, let's go for two here. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he'll get in. And they take an 8 7 lead. Well, they got down 7 zip. They said, we'll get for two. They'll up you. And they take the lead. How about that for a little risk reward, right? If you don't get it, you're only down a point. Let's go ahead and make a statement in this ball game, And that's exactly what they did. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And Hill will opt for the touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here, not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. That's fully Fadakasi into the backfield with ease and making the stick for a loss. On second down, a run with Dobbins. Give him four on the carry there, but that only takes him back to where they started. Third and ten. And right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, Jackson. Throws to his man on the out route. It's complete. That's Robinson. So the completion was on there in nine yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. They're going forward with Dobbins. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They go play action now. Jackson. Open man is Duvernay. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That's good for 28 yards. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. They'll try to run with Dobbins. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Now it's Jackson. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Taking the lead. Tucker now for the extra point. And it's up and good to make this now a 14-8 ball game. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? 
it's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. And that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Yeah, they imposed their will on that last drive. On first and ten, it's ETN. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and move some things up. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Another toe for ETN. And running room scares here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Tackled by Calais Campbell, who was an all-pro with these Jaguars. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. A handoff for ETN. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. Play fake. Here's Lawrence. Out to his left. And Ingram holds it in. And a big game that time. He's out of bounds on what will be the final play of this first quarter. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Here's a give to ETN. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to stand on schedule. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Michael Pierce, in all of his 340-pound glory, gets the sack. So now after the sack of Lawrence, the Jags looking at a third and long. Lawrence. And it's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Riley Patterson now on for the field goal. This from 42 yards out. Patterson's kick is good. And that will bring the deficit back down to three. three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks can tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. He'll get to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles would be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense for anticipating what's up next. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. From the gun, Jackson. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Devin Lloyd, the one to get home and earn that sack. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10. At about the 32. They'll look to ETN to start things out. They find a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain. Rush coming, and he's taken down. 
So now after the sack of Lawrence, the Jags looking at a third and long. receivers you're about their hands their moves their speed how about the positioning and the desire to go get that one out of the air and no coverage and it's intercepted and the ravens are going to have it here just past the 25. the raven offense set at the line for this next drive these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to spring together a nice drive and help themselves out. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now here's the option play going left. A solid stiff arm. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Beating him there with his legs. 21 yards, first down. Jackson now. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Well, we've seen Jackson already have success in the first half running the football, and he gets good yardage on the ground again there. I mean, how? I know it's a $64,000 question, CD, but how do they contain him better? You have to win against the blockers ahead of you. If those and he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Devon Hamilton able to collapse the pocket, get to him, and drop him for a loss of a yard. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Jackson. He'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff, and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. They already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the play did on the last one. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And it'll be a third and about 13. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. And the pressure gets to Lawrence, and he'll go down. Justin Matabike working his way to the quarterback that time. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. James Prochet deep for Baltimore. Shoves him aside. 43 yards on the punt. Seven-yard return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. 
And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. Two yards, good enough for first. Now Jackson going to run, and he is going to lose yardage here. Foyer Aluakon finding his way to the ball for a stop, a tackle for loss. He'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Now Jackson, he'll check this down to Dobbins out of the backfield, and he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Throwing is Jackson. That's taken in by Duvernay. And he's going to be stopped here at the 53, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. So look at this. Here's a field goal unit coming out, and he is going to need to bomb this one. And that is no good. Oh, he missed it just wide of the upright, and this will stay a one-score game as the lead will hold at six. Well, he might be the best kicker the game's ever seen. And we've seen him hit from 66, which is the all-time record. But anything 60-plus, that's a very low percentage kick. Don't tell him. He doesn't believe it. But this one winds up no good. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Good, strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. One play action. Lawrence. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent timing, puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. And they'll run with ETN. And a little bit of space there, takes it inside the 5 to the 3. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. And we hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Now Lawrence. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Zay Jones from three yards out. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from capturing the lead. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. This one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You know, always feel like you want to get in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three. Didn't go through the goal post, so. It does test the mental processes of the team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to stretch? And guess what? You need that guy. That's for Bateman, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And the Jags are going to take possession of the football. Well, when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with the tight end, it's going to be the result. 
stopped every time. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. They'll try to run with ETN. And they'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. isn't there yeah there's going to be and I think their focus here they don't want to give up anything going into the lockers on the other and just a little bit of time left on the clock yeah, they don't want to do anything to after the touchdown cook now to kick this one away And Hill will opt for the touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. He gets this underneath to Dobbins. And he's going to get a good game of nine here up to the 34. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw into the hands of Andrews. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. On first and 10, it's Jackson. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end, Andrews. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Jackson will throw again. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we now go. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And Charles, they've got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, there were three talking points at the half, partner. All of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly harped on it, but I think they told them, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, you've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. 84 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch and that's going to bring up second down. Here's Lawrence, caught on the right side by Jones. And they went the wrong way there, losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, Lawrence, caught by Jones. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line, well short of the first. Two yards on the pickup there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And they'll try and throw for it with Lawrence. 
He'll find Jones again, complete. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually take one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. That's just flat out a beautiful throw right there. It was a rope. That's maybe the speed you would see on a slant, but he threw the head downfield with that kind of pace. Now, if he throws that one with any type of arc, puts a little air under it, that play doesn't happen. Now the ball comes loose, and it's picked up by the Ravens. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Jackson... Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 22. They'll start by running the option to the right. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big time gain there on the keeper using his legs to hurt him. First down. Jackson going to run again. Treads him with a stiff arm. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 18 more yards there and another first down. Now Jackson taps this forward. Jet sweep. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. On second down, here's the option. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Now it's Jackson. And now a fumble. The ball's out, and the Jags grab it. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Well, we know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side, a little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talent because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. And they'll run here with ETN. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. And that'll bring up second down. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been hit so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. First target, first catch, and a first down. Running out of the gun with ETN. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Lawrence hit and the ball is free. But it looked like a Jaguar was able to cover this thing, and so Jacksonville will keep control. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone to the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. No gain at all on the play there, and that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Logan Cook now as he'll kick it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. They'll try to get forward, but he's going to be stopped in his tracks at about the three. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. The, 
They run once more with Edwards. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven yard line. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. From the gun on third down, Jackson. And that will be incomplete. But the fans should be applauding this defense right now. It's an excellent job. They force a three and out, and they should be able to set up their guys with great field position, probably near midfield or better. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And a fair catch called for and taken right on the midfield stripe. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50, first and 10. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up, first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. Now ETN, and good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Looking to throw, Lawrence. He'll drop that underneath to ETN, and he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Got that look from there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second and nine, Lawrence. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jones. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 27-yard line. Now Lawrence to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there at second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. They'll try the jet sweep with Kirk. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Lawrence will throw. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. And ETN with it. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. Once more, ETN. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Travis ETN taking it in from two yards out as his guys are able to extend their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end. end of it. And what it does is... Let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two touchdown lead right because you've taken that time off as you noted which means they couldn't get you off the field you ran your playbook the way you wanted to and you gave your defense some rest what a big time drive in that situation after the touchdown cook now to kick this one away Hill going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. 
And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Dobbins running out of the gun. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, and no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. A second and ten forthcoming here. Third quarter action from Jacksonville. Here's Jackson. Flushed out right. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down tonight, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This will be third and six. Here's Jackson to throw. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Tucker's kick is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no wind, it should be a passer's dream as well, right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. Travis Etienne of the Jags offense set to take over again here. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home, because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there, and boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. They'll roll him out right. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Looking to throw. Lawrence. Jones has it. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. What a throw right there for the first down. He has taken some real punishment in this game, but still standing in the pocket completing that one. He's a flat-out warrior. There's no question about that. How about him stepping up into the teeth of the rush and delivering there for that big strike and that big pickup? And he'll be taken down at about the 45. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Ten yards there, good enough for a Jags first down. Back to throw, Lawrence. And that's complete ETN out of the backfield. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. 
And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. For a gain of five, good enough for the first down. How about that then? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. ETN up the middle. And he'll get down to about the 26-yard line. 114 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. A gain of three, second down. They go play action with Lawrence. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. It was Justin Houston, the native of Statesboro, Georgia, with a sack. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. On oh, the slant, he'll get it to Jones. And he is going to be stopped at the 12, short of the first down. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. They hand off to their big tight end. And he is not going anywhere. They stop it for no gain. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Pass on the crossing route is complete. This is Andrews. The end result, 21 yards. Jackson. That's complete to his receiver, Bateman. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Throw left side complete. That's Andrews. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Second down and three. To throw is Jackson. Quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Operating from the gun, Jackson. That's into the hands of Prochet. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. They'll run with Dobbins. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. He was trying to clear the way, the big fullback. Instead, he gets a hole. And you don't see that very often on running plays from those guys, because usually they're the lead blocker. Normally, when he gets caught, it's in a passing situation. And they'll try the option on first and goal. He will push his way down to about the 14. 
Still a ways from the end zone as they come up now on second and goal. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he stopped immediately there. It'll go as no gain on the play. And now they're looking at a third and goal. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play. Third and goal. Looking to throw. Jackson. And he slides and covers up at the end. As he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble. And now fourth down. So Jackson will head to the Ravens sideline. And on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Tucker's kick is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal... End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. They'll run with ETN. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review. And this being inside two minutes of play, everything coming from up above. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. The Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. It's a 44-yard punt, just three on the return, and they will take over first and 10. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed And the comeback may stall out. It's intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell.
Jaguars are going to take possession of the football. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And they'll indeed take a knee. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Back to throw, Lawrence. Finds the open target, Arnold. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Travis Etienne. Seven yards away. And the Jags have opened up a two touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead is up to 15 now. A drive there of just four plays. And it was capped off by a Travis Etienne touchdown run. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Hill going to sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. This offense returning out there, and really, you remember the last drive, Charles, it was over before it even began. They threw the interception on the very first play. And what that means is for all these guys, it's been a while since they've been out there going full speed, so they've got to get everyone back out there, run a couple of your go-to plays, make sure you get your offense oiled up a little bit, They've got to be able to start fast, but they've got to be efficient as well. Especially the quarterback. But Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. His throw incomplete. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Being chased out left. That's complete to the fullback, Ricard. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Buying time to his left. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Jackson trying to hustle his unit up quickly to the line of scrimmage. Jackson. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Throwing, Jackson. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's gonna bring up fourth down. Oh wait, hold everything, a timeout has been called. Seemingly silly with one second remaining in this game. One last shot for Jackson. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Well, the lopsided affair finally coming to an end. And really no shortage of big plays for us to examine, partner, on offense or on defense for this team. They were so well-rounded in this one. They certainly were. And how about the day those defenders had, though? How many takeaways did they have? I quit counting after a while. They were clearly the better team, and their defensive effort, it led the way.
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Jaguars are winners here as we say so long from Jacksonville. Tonight, from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. see Mac Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. It is a chilly night here in the northeastern U.S., but we've got some football to keep us warm at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Baltimore Ravens and the New England Patriots. There's Nick Folk ready to put this one in the air, and we are underway in Foxborough. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. The number eight, Lamar Jackson, trotting onto the field at quarterback, ready to lead this Ravens offense. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure, and he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. The drive will commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. A solid gain of seven yards that time on the keeper and a first down. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They'll go again with Dobbins. And he'll get about two there to the 36. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Now it's Jackson. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. And deep to return it is Marcus Jones. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. It'll be a 41-yard punt and five on the return. And the Patriots take over. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. 
that are led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. You want to talk about a driven player partner. This guy is absolutely that person. He doesn't just have goals in this game. He wants to be remembered among the best to play the position, and he treats every game as an audition for that. It's a lofty goal to set for yourself, but we've seen his drive lead to some impressive games from him. Perhaps another one is in store today. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things. That Anyway, you can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Oh, on the defensive side, that is so deflating. Not only is it deflating, they've got to look in each other's eyes on that side of the ball and take each other's measure. You've got them backed up, perfect situation. And what they said to you on the other side is, we don't think you can stop us. Went ahead and got it in that position. That should never happen. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. The last run got six, now second and four. Again, it's Stevenson. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Throwing Jones. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. And he's going to be down close to a first down at the Ravens' 20-yard line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Jones keeping it on the snake. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. There may have been a little bit of an element of surprise there. Third and inches and they go quarterback sneak. I still feel like this is a play that often is reserved for fourth down. Now Jones. And this is caught by Evans. And the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Off the play fake. Jones toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. When you run into slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Stevenson, and he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. The 
Folks kick is good. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Jackson now. That's for Bateman, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Juwan Bentley. And the Patriots are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They run once more with Stevenson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now a handoff, Stevenson. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He's just short. He got six of the seven he needed, so that leaves a decision here on fourth and a yard. A give to the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Okay, you and I are sitting up here getting ready to analyze whether they should go for it or not. Did you see the quarterback just point to the sideline and say, uh-uh, everybody back. I've got this call. Well, you knew this side of the field, they're in plus territory, fourth and one. He wasn't coming off the field. No, he wasn't coming off the field. He wouldn't let the offense go with him at all. He said, we're staying out here, and we're picking this one up. That's some leadership right there. Throwing on second and eight, Jones. He completes it to Evans. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 15-yard line. On the handoff, Stevenson. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Second and six from the 10. Now a run with Stevenson. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. 54 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. They'll run with Montgomery. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. 
And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Line of scrimmage, again, the four-yard line, second and goal. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Keenan Allen taking it in four yards out. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Well, we've talked about it before. You know, this jet sweep, something a lot of teams like to run nowadays. And this one winds up in the end zone. And it is all about creating different ways to get the ball in the hands of your playmakers. And wasn't it interesting that prior to this game, the head coach told us, I saw this sitting in my chair watching a Tuesday night college game and decided to implement it myself. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the lead grows to 10 0. That one in the books as a 12 play drive. And it results in a four yard touchdown run. So an early 10 0 lead for them now as they kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And he is going to lose yardage here. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. Yeah, that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's the option, running right. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330 pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Second and 16. They'll go with the option, coming right. And yeah, that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And I think the ball's out. And it's picked up by the Patriots. It happened before that fumble was great. Good vision, navigated the open field, got good chunk yardage. At that point, if you see a defender coming, though, just step out of bounds. Don't risk all you picked up before the hit to just try and get an extra yard or two. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Off play action, Jones. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. 
Here's Jones on third down. Complete Hunter Henry with a grab. And he will have a Patriots first down if they're able to get the third down conversion. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick it down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Jones now throwing on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. Back to throw. Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. So on fourth down, Jones jogs off. And on comes a longtime vet, Nick Folk, for the Pats field goal try. And Folk's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So able to add on to their first half lead here, Charles, forcing the miscue with a fumble and then turning that into three points. Yeah, and more than happy to accept any mistakes the other side is willing to make. No problem. You turn it over, we'll take that, and we'll use it to expand our lead. And Hill will opt for the touchback. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I would kept having a rough patch, he said, but you got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Another run here with Dobbins. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. They'll try the draw here with Dobbins. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good. And they will indeed get on the board here, but still trailing. It's now 13-3. So the third drives the charm. They are on the board, albeit with just a field goal. Yeah, three points from three drives. That's not going to win you a whole lot of football games. Hopefully the fact they were able to move the ball a little bit can wake up their offense. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. To throw on second and ten. Jones. Open man is Myers. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. The result of first down is a quick slant gets him 14. Off the play fake. Jones. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He took a shot there, but boy, was that ill-advised from my viewpoint. Coverage was awfully tight. How did he get away with that one not being picked off? On second and ten, Jones. Open man, the tight end, Henry. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. 
Well, normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. Meanwhile, Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. And coaches always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets... Touchdown, Patriots! Mike Evans. 39 yards. And his guys now taking a three-score lead. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. But well, sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. That's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? <laughs> just go long, man. Yard. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. Full connects on the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Hill going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time able to get three. That's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. The offense on third down tonight. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and nine. Now Jackson. Flush to his right. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Jackson steps away to his left and he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Second and five. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Jackson looking to throw on third. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he will have a Ravens first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Jackson's going to look to run it. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And this time, not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Option play, and they'll hand it to Dobbins. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Throwing is Jackson. That would complete to Prochet. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 16. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Open man is Duvernay. And 
and stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Looking to throw. Jackson. In trouble and he'll go down back at the 12. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. That I'm struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Operating from the gun, Jackson. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. From the three now, here they come on third and goal. They'll try to run with Dobbins. They push forward, but I don't think it's enough. He's going to be about a yard short. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Tucker's kick is good, and that will close the gap down to 14. So three points on the board as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? Jones, a final shot before break. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. So we've reached halftime here at Gillette Stadium with the Patriots on top as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half. So let's get you back out as well to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. Taken at the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. For the Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. Jones and the Pats now with a first and ten at their own 20-yard line. It's Stevenson with a run to begin the drive. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to die. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Now Jones off the play fake. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. An option handoff here to Dobbins. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. 
Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So instead of forcing the field goal, it'll be first and goal. Yeah, the force was trying to make something happen that just didn't need to, right? I mean, plays happen, let it go. It's over. Instead, it creates a penalty. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. On second down, it's Drake. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Now it's Jackson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Devin Duvernay from six yards away. And the Ravens have got it back to within a score. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. So that drive spanned five plays. And it's capped off by the Baltimore score. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. New England trying to get a place on offense. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and 10. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four yard run. So the offense is gonna go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up third and one. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You talk about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw. Jones. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Look at the throw. Jump nowhere to go here. He lost the football. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. And I believe that that gain on third and long changes things quite a bit because this would be a very long field goal. I wouldn't be surprised to see him go for it here. Online, but off the crossbar, no good. A long-range effort denied three points at the very end. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Second and 12. 
from the gun, Jackson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Every week we hear talk about create turnovers, create turnovers. In particular, they wanted to force some fumbles. They got one right there. And it shows you how the game has changed over time. It used to be good enough for a guy to get a sack of a quarterback in the pocket. Now, if you come to the sidelines and you didn't knock the ball free, your coaches are upset with you. All right, so if you're a quarterback, it starts all the way back in the youth leagues. Take care of the ball, take care of the ball, take care of the ball, because here come the defenders. To throw again on second down, Jones. Open man here, the tight end, Henry. And he's going to get this down near the 25. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time you wait for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Back to throw. Jones. And a catch right side by Evans. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep. First and goal. Here's Stevenson. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. 75 yards on the ground for him so far. They've created a nice sustained drive off a place like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. His second touchdown of the night. And the Patriots go up by two touchdowns. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Extra point up and good by Folk. And a lead now up to 14. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he'll gonna sit on this one and it'll come out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Right now, they're in a bit of a tough spot here, CD. You trail them by double digits. Remember the last time out, they fumbled. They're going to have to play some clean football here on this possession. And all the talk on their sideline has been about taking care of the football, making sure that they're handling the ball correctly so you know they'll be squeezing the rock pretty tight here. They just have to be careful not to go so hard in doing that that they actually cause themselves other problems. Take care of the ball, but still try to play free and natural. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Jackson from the shotgun. Going to let one fly for Robinson. A high throw there as this is knocked away. Down to the ground and incomplete. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. Justin Matabike there to bring him down. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feel pretty good about your next couple of calls. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. They frustrated these receivers tonight, really held down the passing game, but there got the penalty. Fine line between aggressive, good coverage, and interference, and they crossed it on that play. Now a dump off here complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I 
think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Keenan Allen, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots take a three-touchdown lead. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on his back. He's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. Full connects on the extra point, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So that drive, four plays, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And Hill will opt for the touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. They'll try to run for him with Dobbins. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And now Jackson will look to throw it. That's complete to his running back, Jake K. Dobbins. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Well, those are the types of plays I really wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. So into Pat's territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Here's Jackson to throw. Left side, Andrews with a complete. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Three yards remain for second down. Here's Jackson. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Again, Jackson. Looking for Bateman. He's got him complete. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. To throw again on second down, Jackson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Matt Judon bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. They'll set up to throw. And that'll be caught by the big tight end, Andrews. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 17-yard line. Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. Call it a full three-yard 
Lions in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. They'll run up the gut with Donovan's. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. 43 yards rushing for him now to this point. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. This will be caught at about the five. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Jackson options out left. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. So they get pushed back to the 11. And here's second and goal. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A nice run there. Eight yards moves him much closer to the goal line now for third down. Third and goal, Jackson. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Ravens have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Tucker with the extra point, and the lead will be cut down to 14. That drive a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. So the Patriots coming out now. This game was really a tussle, seemed like just a moment ago, and now they've got the momentum. A couple of scores on their last pair of drives, and a two-score lead. I think here now you just you go conservative, right? Run the football, work the clock. You know, I usually agree with you, but I'm going after them right here. I'm really? going to put this bad boy away. I wouldn't be afraid to throw it. They've got all the confidence, all the momentum on their side. Go ahead and take your dagger shots and try and finish this one off. I disagree vehemently. I say, <laughs> run the football, you've got the lead. Let's watch it and find out who's right. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Again, it's Stevenson. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. New England on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This will be fine. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Here's Jones throwing on fourth down. He completes it to Henry. And he is going to pick up the Patriots first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he's got this down to the 35. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. 128 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, 
They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense... And this is caught by Allen for a New England touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Well, I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. Extra point up and good by Folk, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about it. Okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation that they play. On third down, Jackson. That's into the hands of Prochet. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. That's taken in by Duvernay. And he is going to have a Ravens first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. To throw is Jackson. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. From the gun, it's Jackson. And this goes out wide for Drake. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Jackson. And he'll go underneath here to Drake. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the stick. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. Jackson will throw again. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. They'll give him four yards there. And it brings up third and five now. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball. And they keep making the connection. Oh, Andrews has it. What a catch. And he takes it just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Jackson on first down. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen. 
despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And out of bounds right around the 20. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. To throw again is Jackson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the seven. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. Now it's Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson taking it in from seven yards away. And the Ravens get a bit closer. Well, that was all Lamar Jackson all the time on that drive, both through the air and in the end with the touchdown run. Yeah, how about him doing things a little bit on the reverse side there, Brandon, because he softened him up throwing the football and opened up the running lanes. And when he gets a little bit of a sliver, he's gone. And that's exactly what he did there. So two scores down. Time definitely not an ally. But here comes the onside kick. And this is secured by the Patriots. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have an onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. New England's offense set to go. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. That one looks like he'll throw here. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. Fair to say the secondary play, whichever side you're on, hasn't really been a glowing exhibition so far. But a nice job there to prevent a long completion. I agree with you. But at some point, someone had to make a play and try and stop this exhibition of almost speed racing that we've been watching. Huh? Yeah, it has been quarterback and receiver dumb. Going to use one of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. The heavy set out there, three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. This is Kelsey, a tight end carry. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Throwing Jones. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. To throw once more on second and 10. Jones to the right side. It's Kelsey. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. That will be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Now Jones. 
He's got his man. It's Kendrick Bourne. And the Patriots are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. Now he's home for the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Keenan Allen taking it in from two yards out. And the Pats have made it a three-score game now here in the fourth. And this win now going to look a little more lopsided on the scoreboard, CD. Now, some may have run out the clock in that scenario, but they wanted to put their foot on the gas, get one more touchdown, and they did just that. Well, partner, I would say the traditionalists not overly excited about that score. They'd like to see the game played a little bit differently. But what you can't argue with is their execution of that play because it played out exactly as it was drawn up. It almost would have been a shame not to finish with such a well-run play. Hill going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Now, this is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I would because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. game. So after it's over, we're going to go to the field and find out where the game is. But this is not a situation now. We're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. The higher scoring game Charles than we typically see in the National Football League, but it's fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed out worked. Yeah, so there was one more watch from our perspective. How do you like to be those defensive coaches? Just, uh, that wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan, they all scout, they all think they're prepared. But executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely.